Is there a doctor in the house? But he came to visit, and there's a uh, this flower on top, which I don't think is related. I saw this from down here, and I thought it was a creeper. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. Hi there, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Down here, it loses enough definition that it could be anything. Anyway, how's it going? Um... There's the entrance. Okay, everybody, let me hang up my house key and close the door. There we go. All right, so what are we doing today? <laughs> oh, look, they're multiplying. I've got another single chunk farm here and it's a cactus farm um, and I've built a couple layers but I'm gonna build the layer here to show you what I'm doing it's a little bit different because normally when one goes about uh, building a farm like this one uh, usually sort of figures out what is necessary in terms of uh, what do I need down there that'll do that'll do um, normally one sort of builds the farm to fit in the space that it needs I'm sort of arbitrarily constricting myself to single chunks here so this is let's see here single chunk yeah look at that and but because I really need a center hole on this for the item collection uh, I, I sort of shimmed off two of the sides so that I it's because chunks are 16 blocks and I needed a odd number so yeah so I built the item collection and elevator first same sort of shulker loader thing as as uh, over with the ink farm but down here I decided to go with a different arrangement down here so I went with a uh, item elevator glass elevator doesn't have to be glass I could use a stone that was in place but I wanted to make sure that a there were no little pockets and B um, I wanted to be able to look down here and see things and down here instead of going with the uh, comparator clock I went with a uh, observer sort of base setup so when cactus come into the into the uh, the dropper there it'll power this sticky piston which pushes these two this uh observer to be face to face with this guy and that generates a very quick clock like that uh so when things come in they they pop and they get pushed up uh didn't i don't think there's anything inherently better about that arrangement than the old school comparator uh, clock except the the comparator clocks uh, the observers are a little bit i guess in terms of raw material they're a little bit more expensive than comparators I don't know so uh, it's, it's about the same um, but I just wanted to try different things uh, this did mean that this section is a little bit deeper than over there so the house that surrounds this is a little bit longer you can't really tell it from here but if I go stand here boop oh we're along the side there so I may expand him notice there's a flower up here if XFX came by and he decided to decorate there's a couple flowers over in the village there's one up there there's one in there uh, he didn't get to the Queen's chamber I don't think but there's there's a few around. anyway let's go down and look at the farm itself and then I'll build a layer so this is what the inside of the farm looks like I have a little hopper chain here all the water flows into the center underneath the center hole Boop. and picks up all the drops in the hoppers here and it goes through the wall there into the elevator over there 
Uh, I dug all the way down to bedrock and then laid this ice, packed ice on top of it. I guess the, the packed ice isn't, oh, something just dropped, I think. The packed ice isn't strictly speaking necessary uh, because I don't, we don't, it, it gets the items out of the farm faster, but honestly, they're not, even over regular blocks, they wouldn't be that, that slow. But, you know, uh, I went out and collected a bunch of packed ice to build this farm. So I have two layers done. Let's build the third. So as I said, I, I dug down to bedrock. This is obviously not just about bedrock. This will be the third layer. Uh, but then I put down a, a floor of packed ice and raised in the center. And underneath these packed ice, there's stone blocks um, just to not waste the packed ice any more than necessary. And then I lined above uh, the sides with sea lanterns just to give some light. Also not necessary because about what I'm about to do, uh, nothing will end up spawning in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay in a bunch of, uh, we need to we need sand to plant the, the cactus, but the sand needs to sit on something because otherwise it'll fall down into the water. So what I'm doing is laying in some of these and one more and then I can put one there and I can take out these blocks because they're not necessary. This is a pretty typical cactus farm design. Um, very similar to what I've been building for other things. So we want to lay out a grid like that. It's important that the holder blocks uh, pedestal blocks sit on the corner of these here and they will be in all four corners and that is for the water to flow uh, normally as I said you would build this out this is a because it's I shimmed in one side this is a 15 by 15 design normally you'd go out 17 by 17 so the water flows nicely uh, to prevent the water from flowing down in a waterfall which I don't think would hurt anything but I put a sign in here just to keep it so that when the water comes here to the edge it stops so let me put in rest of these so uh, basically this grid repeats I, the only place where that I don't put the anything is right over the center hole because I need stuff to fall down and if there's a cactus sitting right underneath the center hole all the drops from the layers above would get destroyed which is kind of silly okay so let me lay this out and then we can move on to the next step all right, so we got a bunch of sea lanterns. Um, I, I like using a lot of mini blocks with this, but you could use anything. Uh, I'd like just to keep it nice and bright in here. Uh, so uh, I've used pumpkins in the past. Glowstone would work just fine. Uh, but I'm using sea lanterns because we have a guardian farm. And then this becomes kind of a parkour challenge because you got to place sand on top of each of these and not fall down because that's just annoying. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, now we've got sand on all of them and you can clean up all the leftover sand. When you fall off or misplace it, if you're a klutz like I am, oh, here's another, that's fine. And if anything manages to slip down through the hole, you can go pick it up later because it'll get collected. Next thing is that we need cactus on top of each of these. However, and you can put it in now if you want. However, uh, I'd like to put in a uh, the breaker blocks first. So cactus will grow there, and then when it you the base cactus grows there, and then you want to have a block up here that it can't grow past. The cactus tries to grow up here, it'll break. It's called breakers. And there's a pattern, and you can put them in between every single one if you want. Uh, not not strictly necessary, uh, but they need to be uh, one above. Come on, pick up, pick up. Where'd you go? There you are. Uh, they need to be. There needs to be space for the cactus to uh, live, and then when it grows up, uh, because cactus can't grow next to a block, it, grow, it tries to go up into this block here, and it says, "Oh, there's a sign there," so it breaks. Um, and so the pattern that I think is the, the most efficient in this case 
is uh, is in the very corners and you only need uh, two signs to cover all four blocks uh, all four cactus plants um, so you put it in all four corners and then I then you don't need to because you got one there to cover those four plants you don't need to you don't need another one here it'd be redundant so you can put one here so you get to skip uh, and I like putting them all sort of arranged the same way which is a little OCD of me but then notice that these two don't have any coverage which means you need to put one in here if you were to build this I one the the farm one larger you could space these two out as well um, yeah let me put all these in oh I, I actually let me get these boop uh, and then that will cover if you do that around the all four sides that'll cover everything except for the ones right around the hole here so you need to put in four here you need to put ones in here there there and there uh, and on this the signs can go on the uh, just on the outside too uh, probably could come up with a pattern that would work with fewer signs but that's fine so when you get done with the breaker block blocks it kind of looks like this um, and then we had just have to place the cactus which becomes another sort of parkour challenge so we have to go through and place them from up here so we go boop 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 and now at this point if they do grow up while you're still they still do grow while we're still sort of building uh, we don't have to worry about breaking them manually uh, to get them and uh, to get the breakers in place that's why I like placing those first and again notice there's no there's no no plant over the center hole the drop hole so let me get these in and the last one ow 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 okay so our cactus farm is functionally done, but we need to be able to pick up the blocks, the, the drops. Uh, so we use water for that. Now I'm, I'm going to use ice, but you can do this of course with, uh, if you have a couple water buckets, um, oops, I'm just placing ice in between the raised platforms every other block including the corners and that way the sea lanterns will help melt it and turn it into flowing water boop and oops. Uh, and and then we'll we need to get it all melted and flowing before we place the corners well that was that was lucky all right it's already starting to melt Okay, so if it if it's a little slow and melting, you can just come and break it. Boop. And of course, you only have to do every other because the uh, the center ones come source blocks. Having depth strider is very helpful for this part. Boop. So that side's all gone, flowing in towards the center. And if we go in towards the center, you can see it flows kind of over the top. Uh, that's why if spreading out one more block would be helpful but uh, it's because you get another block of space out of it for free so we just finish breaking and helping to melt all the ice so we have water flowing everywhere and it's important that you get these blocks flowing water before you do the corners uh, so corners aside all of this anything that falls in here flows underneath the the blocks down in towards the center and down through the hole very easy and now to get the corners 
uh, it's, it's pretty easy. You just place that block in the corner, hit that, and then it flows around this block, the holder block, and down into that, into that water there. No need to do anything complicated. It's just, oops, real simple. Woohoo. And if you stand here, you'll end up flowing down in towards the center, generally speaking. Uh, up around the corners here, it can be a little different, but but the items will flow around and down under. So that's that's all you really need. And one last bit of water, and we're done. That's the layer. We're all good to go. If we sit here, hopefully something will grow. We'll get to see it break and flow down in. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so the next step is to place uh, another layer of um, uh, packed ice or other blocks, if you want, right above the breaker blocks here. But that takes more than a sack of packed ice. It's almost four stacks for the entire layer. But, so let me go get some of that. And you can see I used less than a half a stack of ice, about three quarters of a stack each of uh, cactus sand, my holder blocks, sea lanterns in this case, and breaker blocks. No, oh, about a quarter of a stack of their breaker blocks. So that's all fine and dandy. Want to keep those? Okay. Let me go get some more packed ice. And here's what it looks like from above. I have, uh, let's see, since I, I did go all the way down to bedrock, if I decide just to bring it up to the floor to sea level there, then I think I can uh, fit about nine, uh, nine layers of the farm. So we just go pop, pop, pop. The corners here, so we need raised so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna lay down some torches I guess oh no let me get more sea lanterns okay and because it starts to get dark in here we're going to worry about the lighting at this point right, so uh, I, I put the sea lanterns they can go anywhere but if I put them up one above where the, uh, the floor means the water will be able to flow underneath it. And I think it ends up looking looking nice like that. Boop. Uh, but you know. And then in the corners here, because it's going to be up one higher, I do up one more like that. Uh, this provides pretty good lighting over the entire floor until the water gets in, you know, preventing stuff from spawning um, there is one one block that ends up being light level seven so you need an additional torch or light source but no big deal um, and by doing this now it makes it easier to work because you can see what you're doing and then in the corners above the uh, our little holder blocks just put in the raised packed ice And we got lights, so nothing's going to spawn. And we can go build in this fill in the center. Obviously, we do not want to cover the very center hole, so we have to be aware of where that is. Right there. Boop. And right around the the center hole here, it gets a little dark. So that's the spot I just throw a torch right there. You always pick it up. You can always pick it up later. So there we go. So I'll fill this in and then just start building the next layer. Each layer that they stick in, I get a little bit more cactus out of it. Um, and said if I if I decide to only go up to sea level um, I think it'll be I think it'll be nine layers 
of, and each layer has 40, 48 plants, I think. And so each plant goes and does its thing. And so, oh, one just broke right there. I don't know if you saw it. So they just, they'll just keep them going and doing their thing. And unlike the squid farm, which needs you to be in a certain distance, all that has to happen is this chunk needs to be loaded. So, uh, you know, while I'm working on other projects inside the pyramid here, this will be producing cactus. And honestly, by the time I get done building it, I will probably have more cactus than I will need in the game. Uh, this thing is and going to end up being kind of super productive and even packed into shulker boxes I'll probably have to figure out something to do with the uh, with the excess so let's go see what we got see if we see if we filled up a shulker box yet probably not no okay so what we want to do is make sure that the shulker box is loaded yeah it is and I made them green instead of black like the squid ones it's kind of silly but uh, so let's uh, let's kick it out and see what we got. See if we picked up any uh, dropped construction stuff. Yes, a couple pack dies. So we're doing okay. That's that's a fair amount of cactus. Don't need too much. I needed a, a stack and a half or so for all of the the glass to make the elevator, but. Okay, so there we go. Let's see if we can see any cactus floating up. Farm should be producing cactus on a fairly road. Oh, there's something just out oh, right there. See it? Whoa, it's a little dark right here. There it goes, floating up. And into the shulker box. Very cool. Anyway, just wanted to show you that and show you what I was building in this little bit. I have to figure out other sort of single chunk. Well, there goes another. Woo. Nice. Uh, I have to figure out other single chunk farms. Uh, of course, since I've got, what, three layers in there now? So the, the output of this will triple if I go up to sea level. And if I decide to go up above, I can get even more. And again, I don't... I don't need that much cactus. It's useful. Woohoo. Uh, it's useful for, you know, mob mob farms, mob reducers. Whoa. Nice. And those are just glitches, but uh, it's useful for that. And, of course, green dye. But you only need so much green dye in the world. And, and Barb and VexFX both have cactus farms of their own. Uh, I don't think they're this big, but... They have their own cactus farms for their own cactus needs. So I, this is probably overkill, honestly, but why not? There we go. Very cool. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time.